what's up guys? I have another real sort of fundamental type video for you today. Um, this is going to be on what I consider the three most useful strumming patterns to know how to play. Um, now this doesn't mean they're going to be the very easiest strumming patterns to play, just what I consider to be the very most useful ones. And uh, they're not going to be too challenging. This is a nice place to start if um, you are new to strumming your guitar. Now before we get going, make sure to click on that subscribe button and uh, check the links down below and you could grab my best beginner chord chart. Um, there's also information about Skype lessons, so if you want a little bit of extra help learning to play guitar a little faster, then look down below and you can find out more about that. So for all of these rhythms, I'm just going to use an E minor chord. And if you don't know how to play that, I'll show it quickly here. It is 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. If you're confused about that chord, then the very last video I put out was all about chords and I even talk about how to read that numbering system. So check that out first, but if you're okay with E minor, let's talk about the rhythm. Now the first rhythm we're going to look at is probably the, maybe the least common of the three we're going to look at, but it's going to be the easiest one, so we're going to start there. So in this rhythm, I'm just going to be using eight down strums. But I'm going to count that as one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And every time that I say one, I'm going to be hitting the strings with just a little bit more power. So using an E minor chord, I'm going to play that a few times. See if you can play that with me. It is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. This is a really good rhythm to know. It's in all kinds of different styles of music, punk music, rock music. Um, we can do it with power chords, open chords, any chord shape, you know. But again, we're just gonna be E minor for this video. Now the next rhythm we're gonna look at, this one is gonna be the most useful rhythm that you could know how to play on a guitar. Now I'll play it right now and then we will talk about it. So on that E minor chord again, it's down, down, up, up, down, up. So here's a couple of times in a row. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now the trick is going to be keeping my hand moving um, the entire time, moving down and up the entire time. So when I go down, down, up, my hand falls back down after that so I, I can get another up. So it's down, down, up, fall, up, down, up, down, down, up, I fall, then I come up, down, up. So if that rhythm is a little bit challenging, don't feel bad. Um, you can try to work real nice and slow through it. Um, working with a teacher can help you. And uh, also just listening to it a lot. The rhythm, the down, down, up, up, down, up. That is hands down the most useful strum that you could know how to play. Again, it sounds good fast, good, sounds good slow. It's in all kinds of different styles of music. And um, I hope you have fun with it. And the third rhythm is just going to be down, down, up, down, up. Um, again, this is in lots and lots of songs. Um, this is a good one for when we're playing in 3-4 time. And if you don't know what that means, we'll save that for another lesson, but basically we're counting to 3 a lot. So 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 3, and 1, 2, and 3. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now between those three strumming rhythms, you should be able to play a lot of different songs. So good luck with all of those. Let me know if you have any questions. Also, let me know what, you know, what your favorite rhythms are. What do you think would be the most useful strumming rhythms to know how to play? Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. And don't forget to like this video. And uh, maybe even share it with somebody. And I will just see you guys next time.